Hi there, I'm Rayanne Taraday and I'm an associate editor for the Journal of Pediatrics. I'm also a practicing neonatologist at Lurie Children's Hospital and a faculty member at Northwestern University's Feinberg School of Medicine. My partner in crime is Dr. Paul Fisher. Hello, I'm Paul Fisher. I'm at Lucille Packard Children's Hospital in Palo Alto, California, another sunny day. I'm also here at Stanford University School of Medicine as a practicing neurologist. And we're here today to give you an editor's view of peer review. We can't express enough thanks to all the folks who do peer review out there. It's certainly important to advance the science and advance your respective field. It's really also a chance for you to get a first glimpse of the best science in your own field. There are a lot of great videos in this Peer Review Week series, and these can really help reviewers and authors have a better understanding of the detailed mechanics of reviewing an article, and can help give authors better feedback on how they can improve the clarity, rigor, and impact of their paper. What I wanted to touch on, though, is the importance of the text box, where reviewers can include their confidential comments to the editor. Uh, we have chosen our reviewers for their particular expertise on topics that we may or may not have expertise on. And so we very much value your overall opinion about the paper. We'd like to know how does this paper fit in the literature? What are your unique insights on that? In the medical field in particular, we like to see papers that help us take better care of patients, either by better understanding their illnesses or by providing compelling evidence to improve practice. So you might feel comfortable providing this feedback to the authors, and if you do, that's wonderful. But if you don't, please let the editors know. Paul? Use that box to the editor wisely. Please don't just paste the same comments to the author and put those in the editor box as well. This is really a chance for you to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the editor. You can tell us whether you think the paper is meritorious for this journal or perhaps another journal, whether you think the paper really advances the field, or whether you think the paper has fatal methodological flaws. It's even a chance for you to comment if you think there's something problematic, an ethical issue, such as duplication of science, salami science, or an overwhelming conflict of interest. Whatever you say, make sure you go ahead and say it. Let the editor know. This is your chance to advise so that the editor can decide. 